Stimulus checks were sent out to millions of Americans this week, but some may not receive a check or they might have it delayed. Sharice Gibson is working from home tonight and joins us not now live with more on that. Sharice. And Katie, some of those checks have fallen through the cracks, while others uh, may have gotten lost or maybe delayed because they filed your taxes with a tax preparer. Now, some of you, you'll get your check. That check is just delayed. But for others, you won't receive one at all. I did some digging, and here's what I found out. Though the U.S. Treasury has already sent out millions of stimulus checks, some may never make it into the hands of who they are intended for. For instance, according to CBS News, if you owe back child support, you could also lose your check. The CARES Act doesn't suspend overdue payment. CBS also says if you have a judgment against you for something like credit card debt, you could possibly lose your check or have it reduced. But what about college students? According to Forbes.com, it depends. It has more to do with if that student can be claimed as a dependent. While individuals get $1,200 and couples get $2,400, dependents under the age of 17 get 500. And most college students don't fit the description as a dependent, so they can't get the $500 stimulus check. And Forbes also says if the parent pays more than half their financial support, they won't qualify for the $1,200 check either. The only way to qualify as a college student is if they are not claimed as a dependent and financially are supporting themselves. So what if you owe back taxes? You're safe here, at least for now. Under the CARES Act, you will still receive your check even if you owe. According to CBS News, more than a dozen state attorney generals and some senators are calling on the U.S. Treasury to treat the checks like benefits so they would be protected from going to private debt. In the meantime, if you want to protect your check and you feel you are at risk of losing it for whatever reason, the National Consumer Law Center says if you want to protect your check, you could do a few things like monitor your accounts and possibly move your money as soon as it arrives. And still ahead at 6 o'clock, a lot of you say that you filed your taxes with a tax preparer like Jackson Hewitt or H&R Block. So some people are complaining that they're not receiving their checks or their checks have been delayed or possibly sent to a temporary bank account. I'll tell you what you have to do. That's coming up again at 6 o'clock. Make sure you tune in. Katie?